Hello Leo, it's your favorite girl G1 Writing with G1 Insights and I'm still this month dealing with mosquitoes. <laughs> Leo, guess what? So I know last month was kind of tricky, right? Like June was, um, it was okay. Like I don't think it was one of your best months, right? Like I've seen you Leo have some really, really amazing moments and I don't think June was like your best, best month, but I do think that for a lot of you, it was interesting, right? June was the month where we spent a lot of our time um, kind of bringing in things that we wanted to work on, um, if there was anything that we wanted to get back to, like school, exercise, um, working on our health, working on our education, working on family support. Whatever it is, um, sorry guys, a mosquito on my eye. So whatever it was is that we guys, we were like gathering things, right? The month of July is really the moment where you can really get started and really begin to open up some doors for you. I believe that's what the universe is doing. But this is also, ugh, did I get them? All right. Nope, I didn't get them that time. Okay, so... <laughs> So this month is really about like really, really pushing forward. But this is also a tricky month. And I'm going to talk about that really quickly. Um, June 2nd or June 3rd, give or take a day, we had the Cancer New Moon, okay, which is really good because it illuminates everything. You know, when we think of the sun, it illuminates, it um, creates and make us feel good and rejuvenated. So for a lot of you, this is really good because this is helping you to – get that confidence back, to feel a bit more self-sufficient, um, especially when it comes to your finances. Okay, Leo, for a lot of you, I see finances is going to be a really big thing, like really big thing, okay? But I will say that, you know, another thing I want to point out to you is that that week, sorry guys, I have a peppermint in my mouth. So that week, we will also have Venus go into Cancer, Okay, I think we're still going to be dealing with some of that Mercury energy as well, being in Cancer, because in June, Mercury entered um, Cancer, okay, but it's also going to go retrograde in Cancer, but it's going to end in your sign. So, again, this is going to be one of those moments where it's going to be like it's high, but then it's low, but then it's high again, but then it's low again. So, if you feel at any point, during the month of July, especially that first week or two, just breathe, okay, Leo? Just breathe because it is all working out in your favor, okay? Just breathe. By the third week, of course, we know the sun will be going into your sign. But remember, Mercury is also going to be taking its turn to go direct towards the end of the July, okay? So from July 7th to about, uh, I want to say to the 31st of July, Mercury is going to go retrograde. Again, it's going to start in Cancer, but it's going to end in your sign. So all of these energies are important, and it's all, you know, making sense when it all come together. Overall, though, Leo, as we are still dealing with all of this crazy energy, for some of you, love is going to be at, like, the top of your brain. Like, something you think about, you might meet someone new, you might decide to go on a few dates, Okay, you might start to date again. If you are already coupled up, then this may be a time for just simply rejuvenation of the mind, of the spirit, you know, of your love, um, reconnecting with someone special. This is going to be a really good, amazing season for you, especially financially. I feel like someone you know, um, this is a man, okay, someone you know, it could be a woman too with masculine energy, of course, but for a lot of you, this is a man, um, he's very resourceful, someone that you have a lot of deep connections with. Um, this could be a family member, like an in-law, um, maybe like a brother or a, a father. This could even be, um, I just see that this is someone who's really financially stable as well. Somebody who kind of got their selves together. They may enter your life because like I said, I see love and money here. So I don't know if... This new person is someone that literally just has a lot of money or they are financially equipped or extremely resourceful, okay? But if you are Leo man, then this could even be you. This can be 
for you maybe possibly getting a promotion or um, getting a raise perhaps. Or maybe you're coming in contact with some type of money from someone. But this can also be about building new partnerships, building your resources, getting that promotion, getting a raise, um, finding out, uh, did I get them? Oh, I, I can't get him. <laughs> I'm trying to get the mosquito. I can't get him. He's so fast. So if you are Leo, man, this is going to be really, really good for you. Really, really good. Or you, even if you're dating a Leo, you might be dating a Leo, man, right? Um, you can rest assured to know that your finances is going to be really, really flowing this season. But I would say just wait until about the second week of July to really start to see some results, okay? But keep in mind, because Mercury is going retrograde, I'm going to stick what I always say. Be cautious. If it's not necessary, do not overindulge. Do not overspend, okay? If it is not life or death, if it is not like an extreme emergency, if it's not like you're homeless and you need to move into this place, or like if it's nothing like really extremely serious, then do not sign any contracts. Make sure that you are reading every single dotted line from the top to the bottom read in between go over things with people have a lawyer look at it if you need to because again i see a lot of you coming in contact with some additional funds you may decide all of a sudden that you know one job is not working for you you know what i want to go to this new job if you're going to make any type of rash decisions it's probably best you do it before mercury go retrograde okay or wait at least until um, the direct shadow period, about August 10th, okay? If you can wait that long, then do it, okay? Wait until after Mercury goes direct and wait till it's fully out of our hair, okay? Because even though it will go direct July 31st, in August, around, I want to say around the 10th is what I would say. Give it to about the 10th of August. That's when all of that energy will really be gone. Because then we have the new moon in your sign, and we'll be feeling all in love again. So if you want to do it around that time, then do it. If you want to travel somewhere, sign up to do it around that time. Okay, but if you absolutely feel like, look, I need to book this trip. I have to do this. Be reasonable. You know, don't just spend your money on, like, the first thing you see, okay? And this could be a flight, an apartment, a home. This can be a trip to go someplace. Make sure you double-check everything because I didn't get them yet. Okay, you know what? I give up. So <laughs> make sure that you guys double-check everything because Mercury Retrograde has a way of slowing us down, causing some delays, even in communication. Make sure you communicate, okay, or make sure you really follow through with plans, emails, phone logs, messages, you know, especially with social media. This is going to be a time where technology might even act up. So be very, very cautious about how you are dealing with yourself and how you are dealing with people. But I will say, overall, when it comes to love, when it comes to money, it's blooming, baby, okay? It's so beautiful. You guys are just getting started. So it's the universe is saying to just simply have patience with yourself. Be patient. If you need help, don't be afraid to reach out to someone you know and say, hey, do you mind watching the kids? You know, do you mind, you know, helping me out here? Do you mind filing these papers while I run to the office? You know, don't be as afraid to ask for help this season, Leo, because I feel like it's right at the tip. And I do feel like for some of you who need financial help, I do see a, a young man coming in and helping you, okay? So even if you are a man, Leo, or not, or if you're a woman, it doesn't matter. There's a masculine energy here that is saying, listen, I'm willing to help you. I'm willing to sweep you off your feet. And you know what? For a lot of you, it could be a combination of both. For a lot of you, this could be um, a career situation. This could be a career, okay? So, again, even around the 8th of July is going to be a really interesting moment because I think at that time even Venus will even try to go into cancer, okay? Okay. And then I think sometime later on in the month, Venus will then come to your sign. So, again, you and Cancer is kind of having, like, this battle where you're sharing planets. <laughs> it was, like, going back and forth. But overall, my love, I feel like if you feel like this person is for you, then go for it. Absolutely. You're totally... Um, 
you know, okay to fall back in love again. You know, I know that the past few months has been kind of tricky. And even this month, we have a little hiccup along the way. But we'll be fine. As long as you manage your finances and you put it somewhere safe, um, and you don't overindulge or overspend, you should be fine. And anything dealing with contracts, even if it's child support, marriage, whatever it is, please, please, please make sure that you guys double check contracts, okay? And the universe just keeps telling me to tell you that for some reason, okay? Please double check everything. If you are deciding to get married, I know a lot of people be in love and they're like, baby, let's do this. If you can hold it off to about the second week of August, then do so. I really highly recommend that you do so, okay? Because again, this is going to be one of those months where it's an action time, action season, because we do have Mars and Mercury energy and Cancer still kind of hanging around and Mercury is going retrograded and Pluto and Saturn is still messing with Capricorn. So yeah, the energy is going to be everywhere to season so the best thing that you could do is to manage your finances manage your marriage make sure that you guys are communicating if you feel like the conversation is taking its toll on its own and it's going elsewhere just say you know what honey i don't want to talk about this right now let's talk later okay you get what i'm saying like because this energy is going to be crazy i kid you not but i love you leo i gotta go you have a wonderful week wherever you are in this beautiful universe like share subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions or concerns. And keep it love and light, y'all. Bye.